headhunters with uh, by 12 seconds, I believe. So, yeah, and they're off already. Boom, what do you make of their loadout? Top. Same loadout they have used in all their games so far. It looks looking very familiar, isn't it? They're obviously, very comfortable with this weapon loadout. Pretty no, conventional yeah. one, I think. Uh, it's yep. too sharp, isn't it? Yeah, so a lot of focus on screen control. Obviously, demo for FPs. Uh, it looks like they're going for really want the penetrating power of the support shotguns. Yep, for the crowd control, so good balance. I always hated bloody spiders. Yep. What do you think of this spot? Anyway. Yeah, I'll tell you what, uh, I didn't see this spot coming. Um, it's not uh, not one that pubbies often use, that's for sure. No, it's, it's pretty rare in pubs. I think I've camped it once or twice in pubs and that's about it. Yeah, I've camped near here on the bridge a couple of times, usually with some mm, fairly grim results. It's going to be interesting what comes from the right. You can already see there's a few spawns there, so they've got Quirku facing that way. A couple of sirens coming up to say hello. And if he's not aware, they're going to sneak up on him. Ooh, whack of damage to Quirku, he's going to be... a little bit finer than he would have liked, yeah. Yeah, probably keep Still... going that a bit more often. So where are the danger? A little bit late. At the front, uh, Seska's support, being aggressive as Sesk likes to be. Played a fair few games with him. Yeah, straight to the top of the kill count, and I expect him to stay there. One of the things, though, you can see Sesk, he is forcing his way forward quite a lot. Now, there is a camp, there is a spawn pot spot, I believe, just to the right of that. And as he keeps going forward, he's going to slow that spawn down. So he probably should be holding back a little bit if they want it to go fast. And you see there, there was a spawn just generate just then. Yeah, good spot. It could be a the more he... attempt to control the spawn rate. Although it could be. Not yeah, sure this early, this early, probably hold back. He could slow the team down, and if they're not careful, uh, it might come back to bite them. Probably doesn't want to go any further forward than the beginning of the archway to let that spawn tick over. Early waves, especially. Other than that siren uh, bomb that snuck up on them, they seem to be doing okay. The big test will come when they've got flesh pounds, especially if the flesh pounds uh, get around the corner right on top of Oz as the demo. Yeah, close, uh, close FP spawn could be trouble. They'd really hate to get a flesh pound coming from each direction. That might be disastrous if they continue to hold there. 3 minutes 11 for the first wave. That's pretty quick. Not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. That spot, I think, is reasonably close to a lot of traders as well, though the first trader they've got, um, seeing them go for a little moderate little jump jog. There are a lot of traders on this map, I think seven or eight it's from memory. Money. Yeah, I think trader management on this map is pretty tricky. You don't pick the right camp spot and you're getting an unlucky trader. Could be a very long walk. Yep, we've got the M32. And it looks like they are... Are they heading back? Yes, they are. A quick, an early skip whilst they're still travelling. 40 seconds of trade time saved so far. Straight in the flesh pounds and dismissed without really any trouble at all. Yeah, no, that was good. New mag, give me a sec. Quirku keeps going forward, and I hope for their sake that they don't get another siren bomb. Last time they had the two sirens spaced out a bit. Um, if they get two sirens right on top of each other, or more, and he's not watching, it could be disastrous. Hold on a tick, I'm reloading. 
Yeah, one interesting point with this camp spot is it's pretty close quarters. Yeah, if Siren gets in or if a husk hits them then, and Sesk agrees, then it could hurt quite a lot of them. See, if I was them, I'd have Quirku sitting back all the time. He's, he's got ranged weapons that are pretty accurate. He doesn't need to move forward. That, that way he can easily just keep an eye on what's happening to the right of him. In much the same way that Sesk probably doesn't need to push forward too much. They can control the battlefield probably a little bit better if they're not moving around too much. Uh, that's true. Well, uh, I've been watching Quirko for the last uh, minute or so, and he's basically looking back and forth with pretty good regularity. A bit like a metronome. Yeah. He is, but you can see now right at this point he's forward yeah, as well. Yeah, he's popping forward occasionally, yeah. Yep, oh. and there's a big forward behind. Oz probably needs oh, to drop a nade in there. Siren, couple sirens, cleaned up. Yeah, good back yeah. up in the demo there. They would hate for something like that to happen if they've got a flesh pound at the front and the demo can't help him. Ah, uh, yeah, that would be quite dangerous. Speaking of flesh pounds, he just took one out just then. Sight unseen, didn't see it. Oz clearly oh, yeah, did. Sesk was just on fire there, literally. Not a bad time, almost about three minutes for this this wave as well. That's something they have to be careful of as well. This map is so dark and so many tight corners, nice quick close trader. Um, they don't want to be heading off for the uh, trader and have a siren. I'm trying to heal you, not uh, right in front of them you. when they turn around the corner. Yeah, that'd be a nasty way to get siren bombed. Yep. Especially the more important ones still, like ours. Keep leading. You're cool. reloading. Give me a sec. Reloading. Cover Flesh me, pound reloading. again. Siren in tow. Took it out before the siren could pop his nades. That was some pretty fast work, wasn't it? Yep. I think he was ready for that one. He was waiting for it. So far, all the flesh pants have come from the front, so if that holds true, that should be a lot safer for the team. Yeah, I suppose what we may expect later as a bit of a safety is maybe they'll pick up a pipe a bit earlier and drop it on Quirky's side. Yeah, not a bad idea. Up near the uh, that archway there. Yeah, just to avoid that position of getting hit from both sides with flesh pounds. Because I think that would test yeah, good pretty idea. much any tip. Yeah, good idea. We'll see if they do it. They don't seem to be having too much problems though. Keeping it in check. Yeah, at no point yet has the team been pushed back into the corner. Or even looked anything like it. I know it's early days, so it could get ugly, but at this point. Eh, if they were to get pushed back, if they were to get pushed back, how do you think that they would uh, retreat from this location in an emergency? Uh ooh. That's a good question. Because having a I good think retreat. Is that... Yeah, a retreat card is always a good idea. Yeah. Yep. Uh, there's a long corridor with the waterway to it that's quite nearby, I think. That is, yeah. Uh, Down near the that trader. That might not be a bad place. Yeah, especially if the trader was in that direction. But. Do you think that they're going to hold here for the whole game or move to a safer point later on? Oh, well, that's. It's uh, a bit hard to say. It depends on uh, how well they're holding. I mean, if they can maintain this level of control all the way through, then this clearly is a pretty fast spot. Uh, racking up some good Flesh pound. Point blank and killed. No damage to Oz. Well played. Yeah, I think I think you're right with that. They'll probably uh, assess how they're going. If they're holding it pretty well, they might continue to stay here. There are some obviously 
uh, slower but safer locations. Cleaning up the last 13 or so Zeds. Yeah, I mean, we've seen a, a couple of teams in this tournament uh, have changed their camps, camp spots during the, uh, you know, between waves. So, yes, uh, I think MPC a lot of teams not one of those. Backup location. Yeah, if you see it, definitely one for find one spot, stick a flag in it. But uh, yep. some of the other teams, they're alternating even. And uh, so clearly, plenty of teams have sort of checked out backup locations. And this is another close trader. So, and they're averaging about three minutes a wave with our, when you take trader time out of the equation, so clearly fast. What time do you reckon they're going to look for? Well, oh, gee, just running the numbers, this could be less than 18 minutes at this rate. Yeah, I think sub 20 is what they're going to be aiming for, which would be a fantastic time. Yeah, anything less than 20 minutes. Cover me, I'm reloading. Virtually all the maps is pretty damn impressive. Yep, sirens. A couple sirens with this flesh pound. Oz took some damage there, but cleaned him up. No, I thought the Squeak in the mix might have been ugly, but uh, they didn't have a problem with that either. Nope. And they've all got armor, nice so a little bit of damage. There. Yeah, a little bit of damage that Oz took, it's acceptable. There is a spawn just up the end from where Quirku is near those double barrels and it looks like that, that might be what they're trying to take advantage of with Quirku running and Oz running forward to get spawns triggering there. Ah, that would make sense, yeah. Oh, double husk. Both of them got their fireballs away, but thankfully for the team it was only splash damage. Also, it looks like Demo was aware of the danger. It was moving into cover. I suppose that is the risk of uh, opening up that spawn point there. You could get a bad spawn. Hold on a tick. I'm yeah. reloading. I have seen a scrake pop up there, but yeah, if they get a big siren bomb or husks, or God forbid, a flesh pound. I don't know if flesh pounds can spawn there, but double husks again. Bit of AOE there to the team. Seth is going to have to pull his finger out. Oz is uh, surpassing him at the top of the leaderboard. Oh dear, that's slacker. Hold on a tick, I'm Well, it's not flack of effort, it's a pretty steady stream of shells coming out of SS. Yep. Jump, jump finish to finish off the scrape there. They are fairly motoring along here. Flesh pound taken out cleanly. That was a good catch by Cookie, you seem to be ready for that uh, scrape to be raging. Yeah, I think Cookie at the front is predominantly, I mean, he's, he is taking out some trash, but I think he's predominantly waiting for those sirens, husks and scrapes. Especially with uh, support and a demo aiming forward, there won't be a lot of trash he'll need to kill. 1308 at the end of that wave, they are rocketing along, and what trader have we got? There are some fairly far-flung traders here, if they're going to camp that spot. No, it's not too far. So they've been pretty reasonably close, I guess, to all the traders. Not too much uh, marathon running required. Don't yeah, it seems it. quite a nice spot in terms of central location to the traders. Oh, there Stand he is. Picked up the pipe bomb. Pipe bomb. Sun bloody yep. shine. Stand still or I'll stick it where the sun done bloody shine. Let's see if they follow up your uh, your thought process. Doctors and nurses time. It would not surprise me. At the very least, as they're running back, Oz might drop one in front so he can concentrate on the, the side. Because he can drop one as he's running now. Which he is not doing. Not looking like it, no. 
Flesh Pound double from the side and they're sneaking up on them. They're backing away. One down, there is a siren with it. The siren's being cleaned up. Oh gee. Another oh, flesh pan ran around the front. Cleaned up. Well well done. That flesh pan tried to get a little bit uh sneaky and he uh tried to flank them. They did spawn together. Yeah, I just realized it's kinda of holding my breath while they're doing that. So that was good, they used that little uh, dead end bit of corridor at that point to give themselves room. So they obviously uh, thought about this and trained for it. They they all moved together pretty well. Yeah, there's good communication there. I'm wondering if that's happened in practice and they've rehearsed it. I would assume so. Knowing these guys, they probably practiced this spot about ten times or so, I'd assume. <laughs> Once they get a spot they like, they practice it quite a lot till they know it pretty much inside out. Double siren. The advantage there is that yeah, they've got that corner that they can use for to block the siren screams, which Quirker was doing quite well there. Even with that, he took a bit of a beating then, although... He, he did. Now. No. Yeah, some good team awareness there, that when someone does take a beating, uh, the team very quickly move in to heal. Yep, they all like to pass around those drugs. No one really has taken much of a beating. There's been a little bit of uh, ancillary AOE damage from Scrakes and... Well, not Scrakes, um, Husks and Sirens, but other than that, they've pretty much been unscathed. I can't remember them ever being hit much in melee. Stand still or I'll stick it where the sun doesn't bloody shine. 66 Zs to go. They're only 16 and a half minutes through, so... Yeah, I reckon they finish this off by around the 17 minute mark and they've got 3 minutes or so to get a sub 20 time. Whoever came up with this spot for them should be commended. We'll, uh, perhaps we can find out in the post-match discussion. Oh, double, double kill. kill. Well done. It does help with this spot with, with those double FPs, um, but it does make it a bit easier because it's very tight. It's not one of the more open spots on this map. Yeah, it's certainly a nice bottleneck working for them there. Yeah, that's the big question is, charge for the trader. Yep, big question is where they're going to try and take the pat, and what's the trader they're going to get. They'd hate for it to be spawned because that's a fair hike. Seven and a half minutes. Well, he's dropped some pipes back there, so I wonder if that means they're going to try and take the pat back there as well. And it's a close well, trader for them. Yeah, they'd be very happy with the trader for that. They've got some good traders here for this spot. So notice the uh, assess the sub is held down and buying the AA all the way up until now. I've seen quite a lot of teams go sub heavy and reach for the AA very, very quickly. Yep, so they've taken the other side <laughs> from where they've been camping. And Pat yeah, that was the one they were camping. was the sure? uh, escape zone. Yep, so Pat spawned right where they were camping previously. Yeah, I think they're probably. Seth probably avoids the AA 12, and this team has done that every time so far with their support. Um, probably for money. That way, yeah, if they uh, burn, up, uh, burn up the cash. Yeah, yeah. That way, if they have an unfortunate death, they're not going to be scrimping. The advantage they can pack here is there's lots of uh, pylons they can hide behind for rockets and miniguns. Yeah, plenty of cover. Yep. 
The other advantage is with the stairs, it can make the pads, make it harder for the pad to hit. With, especially with that rocket, he can overshoot. Here he comes back. Oh, Oz almost uh, was a victim of his own pipes there. Yeah, in a way, it's kind of lucky to take the hit. Pushed him out of range. Yep. Yep. They're taking a bit of damage now. Sesk's lost all his armor. Oz has almost lost all his armor. Oz is down to 33 hit points. Oof, they almost got the patty that time, too. Check out that life. Yep. New mag, give me a sec. Stand still, will you? I'm trying to heal you. Uh, once again, quick on the heals. Very quick to get reset. Reloading. Here he comes. Next last, last engagement. They've already they've they've broached the 20 minute mark, but still not looking too bad. And, and there it is. Cookie. Cookie died. Oh, I died right at the end. Right at the end. Tiny bit unlucky there, but otherwise, a very impressive effort. I think he died almost exactly at the time the Pat died. Mutual death. <laughs>